How's it going? My name is Hector and um, in this video I'm just going to show you a quick look at a plein air painting that I just finished here at In Plein Air, Texas. Um, I'm staying with some hosts uh, with three other artists um, at the opening weekend of the event and um, we get to paint on their property for the first two and a half days of the event um, and I just finished a small five by seven painting of some prickly pear cactus. Uh, there's, as you can see, there's lots of cactus around the property. So I wanted to experiment with a very plainer uh, kind of uh, painting, thinking about volume and structure. Um, earlier this morning, the light was a lot more direct. Um, as you can see, it's very overcast now, but let me go ahead and show you the painting. This was the grouping of cactus that I, or cacti, that I chose to paint. Here is the painting. Um, I spent maybe about an hour and 15 or an hour and 20 minutes working on this one. Um, I tried to really focus on the big shapes. Uh, as I mentioned, with the lighting being more diffused, a lot of the uh, shapes of highlights are now gone, but um, some of these pieces like these two here were really bright. This little corner between those two, um, you know, leaves or whatever you would call these, um, that corner, that triangle was very bright as well, as you can see in the painting. Um, let me refocus this here. So yeah, this is how it turned out. I mostly use these two flat brushes, so you can see it has a very angular look and feel um, and then at the very end I went through and softened up some of the edges and tried to get a little bit more variety and an edge quality of the shapes but um, it's a lot of fun to paint here's my palette or the aftermath of the palette so yeah that's how it turned out thanks for watching the video I'll be sure to take more clips of other paintings I make in the next week and uh, we'll see how things turn out. All right, so it is the afternoon of the second day here um, in Texas for the plein air event. And I'm pretty sure I just finished uh, one of my nine by 16 inch paintings. You can see this is my view behind me. Um, and I'll flip my camera around and show you guys the painting. So this is pretty much the view that I painted. Um, I was drawn to this car parked um, on the other side of this barn kind of garage structure. Um, and the car is parked outside, kind of partway in the garage over there. So it's sort of like this double door um, effect that's happening. So I really like how there's this strong contrast of light and dark um, through this initial wall in front of us. And um, I also enjoyed some of the horizontal and slight diagonal elements that were in the scene as well. Um, when I first got to this spot, <clears throat> I made a quick little thumbnail drawing, which you can see here, just to figure out the scale of some of the subjects and the composition, um, really thinking about where the door would be placed in the painting. And this is what I ended up with. And um, the hard part is going to be getting the values right so this is pretty close to what it looks like um, in terms of how dark the painting is um, and I wanted to really create the focal point with the car in the garage so I rendered and put a lot of variety and detail in these shapes and forms here um, and I allowed myself to just sort of allow these forms um, or to make these forms a bit more 
dissipated and abstract and really, really simplified. So even though there's a bunch of these tires here, I grouped them into larger shapes when I was blocking in the painting and never really went back and darkened some of those values. Um, and I think I'm going to leave it like this. Um, like I said, I really like how this area here is different than the rest of the painting. There's quite a bit of uh, information there to bring the viewer's attention to that part of the painting. Um, but to make sure it didn't stand out awkwardly, I wanted to put in a few bits of information on the outside of the door and on this kind of piping material here on the left, um, which I think helps create a nice transition across the painting. Um, so yeah, that's how it ended up. I'll try to get a shot of both the painting and the scene. It's a little tough with this small little tree that's behind me. Um, here's my palette of colors. So I used quite a bit of different hues and pigments in the painting. I tried to keep everything pretty close to the burnt umber. And then these were the brushes that I used. So these four here. Um, there's two sable brushes and a bristle and a synthetic flat here. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of pushing everything into geometry and really architectural shapes in all of the paintings I've done so far for the event. Um, and since I didn't record a video for my first two paintings, um, I'll go ahead and play a little clip of both of them uh, that are finished uh, right now. So. All right, so it is currently um, about 5.30. Uh, it's day two of Plain Air, Texas. It's um, Saturday, October 21st, I believe. Um, and I'm out here right along the driveway of my host's house. I wanted to make a small five by seven painting for, for them um, for letting me stay on their property this weekend. So this is the painting that I made. Um, it's a little hard to focus. There we go. Uh, I painted this on a five by seven inch uh, handmade linen birch panel. Um, it has a few coats of matte medium and I did not sand it. Um, so it has a very bumpy surface, which I'm not super keen on. So I don't think I'll paint on these kinds of panels again in the future, but um, I do like how the colors turned out and on screen, um, it looks a lot more orange and vibrant than it does in person. Um, but I still enjoyed capturing some of the warm yellow and peachy colors in the sky and trying to play around with the edges of a lot of the, the foliage. Um, I really like these green bushes here. I don't know what they're called, um, but they have an interesting shape to them. I like how they're already very angular, um, but because the surface was so rough, I didn't quite get the finish and the look that I wanted in this one. So um, it's something that I'll have to keep experimenting with. I have to head over to my lodging area so I can get ready for um, a party at the host's house tonight with the other artists. Um, but before I go, I'll show you the two brushes I used. Um, a bristle and a sable brush and then there's the palette um, one last look at the painting here 
How's it going guys? Um, it is currently day three of Planner Texas. Um, it is Sunday the 22nd of October. I just finished another painting. This is a 10 inch by 12 inch painting um, before I leave my host's home here near Brady, Texas. So let me show you the painting. I ended up going with part of this view here. I really liked the, um, you know, repeating subjects and just that strong sense of perspective curving towards the right. Um, obviously this frame is a little bit wider than what I painted, um, but here is the painting. It has a very blocky, sort of sharp, geometric feel. Get a close-up look. But I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. I like how fresh it is.